Hello, everybody. This is Arabelle Dragon Queen and someone here with uh, I am starting a new Let's Play, uh, Twilight Princess. So let's enter my name. A, um, let's see where's R. Oh, there's R. R A B E. Uh, Pona, I'll just call Pona to Pona. And, okay. Dude, just skip that, because my TV's already set right. And, beginning of the game. Tell me, do you ever feel a strange sadness as dusk falls? They say it's the only time when our world intersects with theirs. The only time when we can feel the your lingering re regrets of spirits who have left our world. That is why loneliness always pervades the hour of twilight. But enough talk of sadness. I have a favor to ask of you, Arabelle. I was supposed to deliver something to the royal family of Hyrule the day after tomorrow. Yes, it was a task set to me the, by the mayor, but would you go in my stead? You have never been to Hyrule, right? In the kingdom of Hyrule, there is a great castle, and around it is Castle Town, a community far bigger than our little village. And far bigger than Hyrule is the rest of the world the gods created. You should look upon it all with your own eyes. It is getting late. We should head back to the village. I will talk to the mayor about this matter. Yay, Pona! <laughs> Rickety old bridge, don't fall through. <laughs> Ooh, look, there's a triforce on my sand. <laughs> Foreshadowing. You don't have to wait forever to get a Pona, unlike in Ocarina of Time. I know, right? Hmm. And you can only use a Pona when you're adult, Link, which sucks. Because a Pona's too tiny. Well, yeah, that does make sense. But then again, when you're young, Link, a Pona is. You're tiny too, right? And plus, young Link rides young Pona in Majora's Mask, so they're. Well, that's in Majora's Mask. Good point. Ocarina of Time. Good point. Good point. <clears throat> hey, Arabelle, you there? Hey, you mind helping me herd the goats? They ain't listening to me lately. Hey, where's the Pona? Hmm. Hey. Come on now, hurry up and bring a Pona with you. Okay, fine. Jeez. So, let's go this way. Because we saw the random girl leading a Pona this way. Oh, no. Someone's down there. I know, right? <laughs> Gets locked. And cutscene. Oh, 
hi, Arabelle. I washed a pony for you. Okay, so let's go talk to you. The pony is a girl too, so you have to treat her nice like one. Oh, but listen, Arabelle, could you do something for me? Can you use a piece of grass to play that song for me? You know, the one that Epona likes. Sure, there's a piece of grass right here. What a coincidence. In case you didn't know, that was Epona's song from Ocarina of Time anyway. So no wonder Epona likes Epona's song. <laughs> And guess what? A pony's a lawnmower. She can cut grass with her hooves. <laughs> then again, once Zinglin gets a sword, he's a lawnmower too. 95% <laughs> of the time, you use a master sword for cutting grass. Yep. <laughs> the other 5% is for cutting enemies and killing Ganondorf. Or causing Kugos to kill you. If you don't know. <laughs> Ah, if it isn't young Arabelle, are you going to close down the ranch for the day? I just closed the shop myself. I'm sure you know all about the mischievous monkeys that have been coming into the village lately. Those things worry me a bit. <clears throat> I'd better lock up tight here. Couldn't stand to have any more goods stolen. Can't trust that good-for-nothing husband to do anything right. Come on, Dad, you can't even catch a silly little monkey? Uh, well, no. No, I can't. Wow. Oh, listen to his Babylon. I didn't mean to keep you. All right, off to work with you. Okay, let's go to work then. Even though it's like the middle of the afternoon. Wow, one ruby. Sorry to get you over here in such a hurry, Arabelle. These guys have been awful skittish lately. They won't listen to a word I say. Sorry to ask, bud, but how's about you and Epona herd him into the barn real quick? We ain't got much time, so you think you can do it for me? Yeah, sure. Kinda have to. It's part of the game. Well, yeah. Much obliged there, bud. Okay, then go on and herd these little scamps into the barn for me. There's three more. That's six. Come on, goats. Eh. Wrong way. Oops, I crashed into the wall. I'm not very good at this. I'm a little rusty. Two more, and they're right next to each other. Facing the same direction, also convenient. And there we go. Done. Arabo, Epona, much obliged to both of y'all. I can cover everything tomorrow without having to trouble you. So just sit back and relax, bud. Oh, but uh, how about today? Want to practice with the fences? Just wait a spell, bud. I'll get them fences set up. Ooh, sorry that took so long. Okay, then. Y'all ride all you want. Y'all get tired of riding, just jump the gate and head back into the village, okay, bud? Okay. Fences have been jumped. And no. Yeah, whatever. That's 
that's just saying save with the plus button. Hey, hey wake up, Arabelle. It's morning already. Oh, God, that sounded weird. <laughs> Oops, I jumped instead of <laughs> doing this dream. Oh well. Oh, Arabella, did you hear? They're selling a slingshot at the store right now. A slingshot! I wonder how powerful it is. I, I need, I must try it. Tallow, if you and Mallow want it so badly, just buy it at my parents' shop. Do you see any rupees in my hand? I can't afford that thing. Come on, Beth, can't you just loan it to us for a while? You know I get in trouble for that. If you two want it, save up your allowances or something. But our allowances are terrible. Aw, I wish I was born into a family with a slingshot instead of one with a water wheel. Oh no, the evil baby wants to take over someone else's life. Oh no. So anyway, as you might have guessed, we need to buy the slingshot. And to do that, we need like 40 rupees or 30 or I don't know. Just 30 or 40. 50, I think 50. 50? Really? Yeah. I thought it was... Okay, I think it's 40, not 50, but oh well. Whatever. Also, to buy the slingshot, we also need a fishing pole. I don't know why that is. I don't know why you'd need a slingshot... Slingshot to buy a fishing pole? That's what I was about. <laughs> you need a slingshot to buy a fishing pole. Actually, that would make more sense than needing a fishing pole to buy a slingshot, but whatever. La la la, looking for rupees. I found one in the grass, now I have five, yay. Jump off a table and smash some pumpkins. Bye bye pumpkins. Cause everyone knows that pumpkins have money in them. And so do rocks. And those pumpkins are growing really fast. <laughs> Seriously, look. They're already starting to regrow. Dang, that's fast. <laughs> okay, so let's go throw some more pumpkins. Oops. Yo, don't waste food. Uh, oops, sorry. But I want money. Don't worry about t talking to me from there with A while the delete card targeting. Blech. Okay, fine. Hey, there you go. Over here. Yeah, your voice carries well as usual. Think you can teach my little text to talk to, from, to someone from a distance while, by pressing A while holding Z. So listen, why don't you climb up those vines there, Arabelle? Yeah, G, fine. I'll do it. And... Yo, there you are. Check this out. You know Sarah at the general store? Well, isn't that her cat over there? He's just been sitting there next to my house having a staring contest with the creek. You don't suppose he's thinking he's gonna catch a fish, do you? Ah ha ha, cat can't catch no fish. Anyway, that's not what I was meaning to tell you about. I want you to take a look at something. See that grass growing there on the edge of that rock? Haven't I seen you whistling with that stuff? I figured it was pretty rare to see it growing in a place like that, so I thought I'd let you know. I bet you could hop across those rocks with a little quick control stick forward, couldn't you? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, look. I wonder what should we do with this. I don't know what song that is, or even if it is a song from Ocarina of Time or anything. Don't think so. Hmm, so. Ooh, I know. Let's try knocking down that huge beehive over there with a hawk. Yay, animal abuse. Nah, just kidding. I don't like animal abuse. <sighs> but I do not. But I do hate bees. Because <sighs> I don't like bees. That's why. So, and I think there might have been some rupees up in that tree. Let's go see. And you only could have gotten the rupees by knocking down the beehive. Yay. Knocking down a beehive with a hawk. Wow. <laughs> Do, 
Do, do. Waiting for Link to climb takes forever. And unlike in Skyward Sword, where you just leap with a flick of his own. Yeah, I know. Sucks so oh well. Then again, at least you yeah, don't have a stamina gauge in, in, in any of the other Zelda games. Okay, fine, I'll chill out. Jeez, I know what five rupees are, game. And unfortunately, it's gonna do that every time I start the game again. From a save file. And a yellow rupee, 10. I thought gold rupees were worth, like, uh, I don't know, 200 or 300. Oh well. That's in Skyward, though. Yeah. And that was yellow, not gold. Yeah, good point. I don't even know if there is gold, gold rupees in this one. I think the max is orange, which is 100. Oh, um, good morning to you. If you're looking for my husband, he took his sword and left early this morning. But I must ask, Arabelle, you have not seen a cradle come floating by here, have you? It is a baby's cradle made of finely woven tree bark. Oh, such misfortune. How far could it have drifted, I wonder? Hmm, well, let's go check. Let's go get somewhere really high and see if we can see it from somewhere. Ooh, wow, there's hot grass over there, too. I wonder what that's for. And hey, what's that bouncing in the distance? Wow. A monkey? What? Huh. Interesting. What's the monkey? The monkey's holding a cradle. Wow. <laughs> so let's get Miss Truck to bring it back for us. Yay. Stealing from a monkey. What if, what, what, what if Mr. Hawk doesn't want to come? Good point. He must have gotten stung by a bee's last time. He might not want to come, but he already did come, so who cares? Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Hawk. And he holds it as if he just won a trophy. <laughs> yeah. Or anything else in this game, like rupees or or the sailcloth. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, the sailcloth. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, Arabelle, that cradle. Did you go to the trouble of finding it for me? My thanks to you. Oh, that reminds me. There's something I'm supposed to give to you. Do you think you could carry that cradle and come back with me to my house? Okay, sure. And then she walks fairly slowly. So, because she, she walks so slowly, we just run ahead of her and she automatically teleports there. <laughs> my thanks to you, Arabelle. Yes, yes, and I had nearly forgotten. I'm supposed to give you this. All right, here you go. Oh, you caught a fishing rod. A simple fishing rod with a bobber. Set it to be on the minus screen. Blah, blah, blah. Push B to hold it. Lower the, the lower the Wii mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. You can fish with it just a hook, but you can catch a wide variety of fish if you use bait. <clears throat> yeah. It is a little unpolished. My son, Colin, made this under the instruction of his father. You can use it if you like. Oh, okay, guys, we're at 20 minutes, so I think I'm gonna end this off here. Okay? See you later. And goodbye. Hasta la vista.